In February, Russia began its all-out military assault on neighboring Ukraine. Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, the largest invasion of a neighboring country in Europe since World War II. Uh, there's a horn going off to warn the people that there's missiles in the air that could hit this region. And Carrie's literally given a message about the love of God. These people have a father in heaven that wants to comfort them as these horns are going off. Every one of us has been forgiven. And we can have a relationship with God and talk to him anytime we want to. We've been invited into Ukraine uh, at the end of the month and we've prayed about it and feel at peace about it so we're going to take steps in that direction. Um, we don't know if it's going to happen uh, but this is the beginning of that journey. I'm literally running through the mall for like the third time, third mall, whatever, trying to get some speakers before stuff closes and we have to get on the bus to Ukraine. No this is my friend from Georgia. We're running around Warsaw, yeah. grabbing speakers, dropping off at the bus station like we're in an action movie. And you're a stunt driver. Yeah. So I just went to get some Ukrainian girls some food and the bus is leaving. And I'm literally chasing after it right now. And Carrie's in there. This is crazy. So we're at the border of Ukraine and Poland. It is cold. It is early morning. I feel like I have not slept in weeks. Literally. And uh, God, please let us get in to Ukraine. Good morning. Kropovnitsky. Very famous American dance because Americans have two dance moves. Americans have two. 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 One, two. One, two. So it is show three of six today. Uh, we just played at uh, a rehabilitation center. We played at a kindergarten and uh, refugee housing this morning. And now we're playing at another kindergarten. Everybody who is playing will get one balloon, tie it around their ankle, and try to keep it safe. to warn the people that there's missiles in the air. And we can have a relationship with God and talk to him anytime we want to. We can pray with you and try to answer your questions. And we can help you to know Jesus and learn about him. Pick up some hitchhikers while we're going. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Good morning. Where's she going? Do you want to
На Олександрію по дорозі вам? А до Пантавки ми не їдемо. А як ти їдеш? Олександрія. So we are just setting up at the House of Culture Center Plaza in Alexandria. As we're singing and we're dancing with the kids, we just want you to know that we just hope to bring joy to the kids and hopefully bring a smile to everybody's face. So if you don't feel like dancing or if you just want to be on the sidelines, it's no problem. Or if you want to be up here, also no problem. Because we are here to serve you. We're at the market buying socks and underwear so we don't have to wash clothes on this trip because there's nowhere to wash them. <laughs> Sometimes it's the little things like towing the stranger to the next town. Do what you can. That are here. God, please remind them how much you love them. We're in Ukraine in Dnipro. There's some beautiful things going on behind me. They're making balloons for the program today, but I just want you to sit and think about something that I just saw looking down in at the church with stacks of beds and old ladies with a, just a bag, a small bag of belongings and blankets laid out on the floor. And I want you to picture your mom or your grandma having to leave the town she grew up in where her family was and leave at, at the end of her life because of a war like this and, and do it alone. Just a bunch of these old ladies just traveling by themselves with a bag packed staying here for a few weeks and then moving on trying to find their next home alone it's insane and I don't know if you can just sit in that moment think of your mom or your grandma having to do that and just let your heart be broken for a second thinking about the people here in Ukraine and I just pray that that would drive you to love the people around you and care for the people the brothers and sisters that we have around the world that are going through stuff like this and and be changed by it and let your actions change, your small actions and your big actions. So this is where we're staying tonight, which is also where a lot of other people are staying for maybe a few weeks, maybe a few months. Um, but it's actually really sweet to be sleeping in a church with a bunch of other people. Hearing their stories and trying to imagine our mothers or grandmothers having to flee the homes and their hometowns with just a bag and travel alone trying to find a new place and during the last chapter of their lives is... Whew, said that 
it's been getting shelled, people have been getting killed, and there was an explosion at a factory yesterday. Left Dnipro this morning uh, in a small convoy to go pick up some refugees from uh, very close to the front line. You have special thanks to UR Camp Extreme and the British Army for giving us MREs for this trip. Mmm, Thai food, love it. So the mission was a success. Everybody got to where they needed to be. We're back in Nipro and we're about to do a medical training and teach the drivers that have been going and getting refugees back and forth from the front line um, how to pack wounds and do a bunch of cool other stuff. It's actually very important just to take five seconds and not just run straight into Given your job, I think maybe the great first thing to start with would be how to carry someone out of a bad situation. Pressure to the wound. Если я буду давить на саму рану, and the bleeding stops, и кровотечение остановится, you can use a pressure dressing. Тампоном или смарной. Well, it's the last few days of the trip. We're making our way back west. We're in Venezia doing an event today, tomorrow in Ternopil and Lviv, then taking the bus back to Poland and heading back to the Netherlands. Oh my gosh. It has been an amazing time in Ukraine these last, it'll be a total of 10 days here. The people we've met, the little experiences, so many times that we've had just a single moment where it was like, oh my gosh, this was worth it to come here and do this just for this little time with this person, for this this prayer, for this connection, for this hug, for this little smile on a kid's face. And uh, gosh, I hope we can come back soon. Continue to pray for Ukraine. It's hard for me to imagine what you've been through. Для мене навіть важко представити, через що вам довелося пройти. But I know that God has peace for you. Але я відчуваю, що Господь має мир для вас. Thank you guys so much for listening. Дуже дякую вам за те, що послухали. Thank you for coming today. І дякую, що прийшли сьогодні. Come alive.